Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the show. It is Tuesday, April the 9th, and my name is Force, here with your day's gaming news. In today's discussion, StarCraft Ghost may eventually come out, Shroud of the Avatar gets funded, and EA is voted the worst company in America. Alright, so first up in news today, we've got StarCraft Ghost, the game that was once left in the dust courtesy of World of Warcraft. Well, the good news is, it may eventually still come out. Speaking with PlayStation Magazine, Blizzard Entertainment's Matthew Berger revealed that StarCraft Ghost was never technically cancelled, but rather was put on hold. Ghost was first revealed back in 2002, and although we've seen screenshots and gameplay footage, little else has been said of the title, leading most to believe that it had been cancelled. I don't think anyone would be surprised if I were to tell you StarCraft Ghost likely got delayed courtesy of World of Warcraft. I mean, they announced Ghost in 2002, WoW comes out a couple years later, and Blizzard probably says, wow, this game's making us a ton of money. Maybe we should focus on that. But regardless of what happened in the past, I know myself and many others will be happy if they eventually release StarCraft Ghost. Next up in news, Lord British's Shroud of the Avatar has completed funding by quite a lot. Shroud of the Avatar is an upcoming fantasy role-playing game that focuses on player choice and discovery. The game is being developed by Ultima creator Richard Garriott and his team at Portalarium, and the story is being written by New York Times best-selling author Tracy Hickman. Kickstarter funding for the project reached just under $2 million, nearly double their original goal. Richard Garriott and his team are really promising an amazing RPG experience in Shroud of the Avatar. The question is, of course, can they deliver? Now, I'm not going to doubt the man who created Ultima, and based on the immersive experience that they're talking about, this really could be an incredible game. We'll just have to wait and find out when this game eventually comes in 2014. And last up in news today, EA has been voted the worst company in America by a bunch of idiots. For the second year in a row, EA has won the Consumerist Award for Worst Company in America. The major factors leading to their victory were cited as failure to provide a product people want, high prices, and subpar support of their titles. Coming in at a not-so-close second was Bank of America. Ow! This hurts my head, it's so stupid! This does not make any sense! How is EA considered the worst company in America by anyone? Tell me, how is EA worse than the financial institutions who played a role in our current recession? Tell me, how is EA worse than big technology companies that have their products made by children in sweatshops in third world countries who get paid pennies a day? Tell me, how is EA worse than big tobacco or fast food chains who directly contribute to the death of humans. The death. Well, I'll tell you how. It's because for the idiots who voted for EA, the worst thing that's ever happened to them in their entire life is having to pay $5 for DLC on a video game. <gasps> That sounds horrible! Now I'm not going to pretend that I have a difficult life. I get paid to make videos about video games and put them on the internet. That's not tough. But I'm also not stupid enough to think that any video game company is the worst company in America. Stupid. 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 Alright guys, that's going to do it for today's episode of the show. As always, thank you so much for watching. Once again, this has been Force, and you have just been Force Fed. You know what? I just had a revelation. It makes perfect sense now. These guys voted for EA over Bank of America because they don't care about Bank of America. Because they don't have any money. So what's the big deal? And that also explains why they're pissed off about $5 DLC. Because they're broke. <laughs>